Here comes Butler. He's shifting. Look at that. Look at this. Jeffy back the other way. And the pull up from outside. That's Butler for three. And that is uh, AU off the miss. And now end to end action. And that layup for two. So let's see if they could pick it up where they left off. Three point range. Butler squares up. That's Muddy. That's and his step back three point attempt is off the mark. And back the other way. Here's Butler running the court. Lay it up with the left hand for off two. Off the steal. Here's Butler. Two on one. Three on one. Law pass underneath. And Butler just finishes. Here's Butler. And he lays it up with that. And it's been all season long. Well, McGurl's pass is picked off, and Butler takes it the other way. Going back to Baylor, their experience, right, particularly at the guard position, makes you think that they can overcome the skip to beat. And your concern maybe not being as sharp defensively or offensively, taking quick shots <laughs> at 6 8. And uh, Selton Miguel really had no chance there. And they've taken one of those all year. So the. the I bring that up because he understands exactly who he is. Cryer. A lot of times in that. That's the only thing I could do, Mark. You know that. Well, that was pretty much the extent of my uh, skill set of staying on. Butler from mentioning the last few possessions defensively. He's been pretty sound. For the most part down here. Drive and a lay in. But he but has developed he it even more but since. Like his explosiveness is. Um, you got Colder and Sheepway playing at the same time for West Virginia. You got to have something to match up, right? You hope you have something to match up. Butler. Right, Davion Mitchell has been hitting from long range. And last year he was. Oh, you see that was off the mark. Loose ball tipped out to Mitchell. Butler, runner, good. Last game. This kid can play. He's very talented. Coming off the bench. Oh, JB, got the ball. Turnovers, <laughs> allowing Central Arkansas to get easy points, easy buckets that they normally don't give up. So all of his buckets from, uh, from beyond the arc. DeAndre Jones, a senior from Boise, Idaho. <laughs> For a triple-double. Hey, leave him out there. <laughs> Oh, score pass to Matt Meyer, and there's another triple. It's coming out of the timeout. Samson George with the bucket makes it 68 37. Baylor, and there's Macy. It's going to be huge today for Iowa State to get off to a good start. And defensively now, the matchup he likes. Just isolating Solomon Young at the elbow and letting him go to work. That's too easy. Looking for some help. Johnson got caught in the air, and Solomon Young wasn't looking. Now, Butler. Ball on the floor, and Baylor comes away with it. Now the Bears have numbers. Butler lobs it up. Mark Vidal. Butler, nice speed to Thamba. And probably the next seven minutes of this half without picking another one up, or they're in some deep trouble. Vidal to be down, and to be down just two right now, have to give Iowa State a ton of credit. Butler off the screen from Vidal, and there it is. The first just exploded. Butler all by himself. Butler for three. Good, Jared. It's time for Jared Butler, Davion Mitchell, and Macy Oteed to go to work and make plays. That's the luxury they have. I feel like maybe Davion Mitchell would have been the guy to foul if you were going to do it. Obviously, you don't do it now, but Jared Butler makes that three. Butler on nine. He could really score. He can grab the rebound, bring it up the court. <laughs> We're a little sluggish out of the gate so far this year. Tell me, Butler I'm finishes telling you. finishing the front end of the one and one. Baylor today just one for ten from three point to finish on the floater. That's nice. Yep, that's wow. nice. Print. Hey, at my age, fan, I love anybody's agility. <laughs> and back come the Bears in transition. They got numbers. Opportunity at home to knock off number four. Uh, although Miles <laughs> slips and just trying to get rid of the ball, turned it UCLA and Arizona to cap off the evening at about 9 Eastern time. Deep one. Deep one from the top right now. Four guard Rook. 
That's deep. Butler again. Man, oh. great ball movement. Teague misses the three. Tipped back out, though, by Chamwa Chachua. And the starting out the game, switching in their man-to-man. -man. You get caught underneath, and Jared Butler just... In the country, Davion Mitchell. Teague penetrates. Another shot fake. And the drive and the layup. Flyby that Butler would attack. Look, everybody's just looking, and finally... David McCormack comes over late, but it was way too late. He's, if you're that late, you got to go up to block the shot, not try to. You know, we said assists and steals almost 10 a game. Turnover margin, seven a game, more than their opponents. They force 19. Uh, handle the entry pass. Nice look. Pass. Wide open. Wow. That's just big every bit as much as Brown did underneath. Butler back in with a couple of fouls and still feeling it. Butler with 50% from the field and from three. And Jared Butler's got four threes all on his own. Big lead for Baylor. Two in college basketball is fall down when you get a try. What a move. Jared Butler again. Mark Vital to pick up Flo Thamba. Yeah, a little hesitation move just blew right by. Just a gorgeous move. Remember, Baylor and Gonzaga were supposed to play earlier this year. Again, beautiful basket. Offensive rebound, Lightfoot. Okay. Oh, Ooh, great steal. Yeah, Flagler playing free safety. Butler back to Flagler and one. With the ball. Yeah, they've been turning it over, taking some questionable shots. Over the top to Vital. What a feat. There's those screens, and actually it wasn't a back pick. It was just a... Two screens in a row. One by Vital and then by... You know, they've done this too without getting a whole lot out of McCormick because of the foul trouble. They're going five out right now. No true big guys in there. And what a huge shot for guess who? Jared able to attack those closeouts. And here's the... It's odd that there was no call on that. I mean, and it makes you, makes you think back to the... Well, they'll screen this zone, pop the middle. But a big 12 low reaches to that foul line. Well, Chachua tries to set the screen. Watch Freedom for three for Butler. Butler. Bounce pass down low to Vital. He said, I do give them freedom. I do give them responsibility. And that freedom leads. He was frustrated. He didn't keep it in bounds. Shot clock at five. Double team in the corner, three is... Hey, Mike Boynton told us he, he does not want to discourage his team from taking the first open three as long as it's a good... Seven tie, and now the turnover forced by the Bears. Here comes Butler, leaves it for a cutting... Butler hovering a little bit. Mitchell. Nice replace. Butler for three. It's good. Wow. Wow. Straight up man. Mitchell in the game for the first time. He's covering the ball. Well, they went to zone again. And another three by Butler. Be a preseason All-America selection. Aren't they happy he didn't go to Alabama where he originally signed? Yeah. The clock at 20. Shot clock at 20. See how they overload the yep. That great game earlier in the week against Kansas State. But they have the depth. But again, the size of Auburn in that lane. Offensive foul. Jalen Williams throwing back the effort from Davian Mitchell. And then a step in. Butler takes it away. To the other end. Of the that three for Auburn, by the way. They were one for 12 from beyond the arc before that three. Butler unimpeded. Day John now. He's going he's gonna to seal his man in the lane. And that creates. Worst. Mitchell kick to the corner. Butler. Spins it up and in. Wow. I mean, he's shooting nearly 50% from three. Yeah, came in at 47%. That's two. Flagler had 19 last Saturday against Auburn. There's Butler to air ball. Meyer flips it up ahead. And now Butler pulls up transition. You know, he mentioned that Vegas team. That was the Larry Johnson, Stacy Morgan, and Club. Mitchell looking for some space. Butler probing, gets a piece of the paint as well. Butler mid range. When you think about what he's done with that program from where it was when he arrived, unbelievable. Look at the poise. 
Texas came out so strong to start the second half. Took a two-point lead after being down seven at the half. And now it's all. Teague picks up his dribble. Jared Butler with five to shoot. Step back three. Got it. Hesitation dribble for Butler. Leans in. Yeah. Take advantage of the of uh, what the NCAA has laid out and uh, continue to play college basketball. They had him. From the corner, it is good before halftime. The fatigue is something that uh, you can't really account for. So I expect them to play better. Butler, answer. Big. Meyer gets to the baseline. Just play the games, keep the kids safe. We've done that by and large. We're seeing great basketball. Nice pass. With four minutes to go. Butler floats it up to Meyer. Perfect today for Taz Sherman. Only two misses and 25 points. Butler gets to the rim. Plus the go now. And he will in the mid range. He'll drive it and tie it up. a three from the corner they force a ton of turnovers baylor gets extra possessions great screen for the screener sprinting down the court behind the play and you're going to turn it over every time butler again to window shop uh to just stand there and pick you apart and uh, there, there's a great play well it's going to be all about north carolina and their guards and their rebounding if north carolina's guards can play and oh, what a move by soon have an eight point lead after winning the Big 12 regular season championship on Tuesday. Mike Boynton has a tremendous recruiting class, not only oh, this okay. year, but also coming in. But that's something, it's not all on the officials. That's something the rules committee has to clean up. We, we've got to change, change the, the rule. Okay. I would, I would make it uh, more difficult. I would move it to the gather that you have to be established on the gather. You know, we got two turnovers and Baylor taking it the other way. In the corner. A low stress enterprise for him, even in big spots, as Cunningham makes it a four point score. Butler. Here's Mitchell looking to take on and the kick out here to Butler for his first look. The best three point shoot. Ten points in the paint for Harford out of their 14 points. The the alley -oop, that's give the guards a lot more space to be able to drive it. It's not a shot that he normally does. Just his eight, Smitty. That's a matchup that's fun to watch. It is. Butler. Where your leadership and Jared Butler has to take over. Just about to say that. You would think this is where Butler or maybe Teague, two of the big stars here, is Mitchell and Butler. Finding Teague. All three guards touched it on that. Watch the pass. Good look, no look. Mr. Carter has been playing with three fouls for a long time. And he is not defensively not giving up. And that came in the 13 minute mark in the first half. Largest lead here for Baylor as they stretched it out at the end of the first half was 20. Attack the basket off the dribble. They set ball screens for him. These guys are hard to contain. Butler with a Here comes Butler. He's shifting. Look at that. Mayor, there's a screen. It's Butler in the corner. Side vital. Does every nice cut and a pass. Give the assist. Right? He got your attention. Huh? He was out of practice. I think he always got his attention. <laughs> Just guessing. That's, That's what Butler. they got to do. Butler with the try. Now Butler can't over help with the nice dive by Jonathan. Woo. Butler. Wow. Another one from the Elvis. Great call. Butler, step back three, Butler. wanting it, driving it, hit nice it up, the vital. Good throw line area is wide oh. open. They make a living right in there. Boy, that Butler is Butler again. Goodness. Oh, my goodness. Sucks. Hits the floor and recovers. And they don't get back to cover vital. Unbelievable. Hey, Baylor's on a break. Smart move here. A little delay. Flagler. Splash. Ooh. Wrinkles. It's not all the ball screen. Look at that, Phil. Iron.